Alright, so we have week four of the ERL, and I am up against Matt this week. So this battle I start off with Sableye because I was pretty certain he was going to bring out his hip out on the beginning. And I know Hippodon is probably going to try and lay up stones, so I brought him the Mega Sableye to bounce right back on his side. So, how it starts out, I go Mega, of course, and I get that burn off right away because I'm like, well, I need to stay in, because it looks like he's staying in, so let's get a burn on there. And he decided to go for an attack now. My Sableye totally ate that shit up and didn't even touch it. And I'm getting hit by the Sandstorm, but I'm not too worried about all that. Then, he tries to throw a Toxic, but he's already burned, and I have that Magic Bounce, so it tries to bounce back, but he's already burned, so it doesn't work. And that time I was like, okay, I'll hit him with Knock Off, to try and do something to him, because I know he hasn't thrown those stones yet. And kept him, and then for the next attack, then he threw the Stealth Rocks, and I bounced him back, so I was successful in doing what I wanted to do right there. So at this point, I'm like, alright, I've done what I wanted to do with that, I'm still attacking you. But he, at this point, decides... I think he keeps in. Yeah, he definitely does. He kept in again. And he kept attacking. It's like, oh, okay. I don't, I'm not sure why you're staying in, because... I mean, you're not doing much damage to me. But he gets hit with that foul play. And then he gets hit with the burn. And he's gone. So I was like, okay, that's a kill right off the bat. So at this point, I was like, I don't need to worry about spikes anymore or rocks anymore. And then in came Steelix. This was an upsetting time in the battle, so I'm like, okay, let's try and get a burn on him, because I knew he was a physical attacker, so I'm like, alright, let's hit him with a burn, drop his attack, and then we can deal with him afterwards. But Heavy Slam came out, and this was really a battle of how slow Pokemon are. Sableye's speed basically is 20, so I was beat out by Mega Steelix's 30. And at this point, I was like, okay, let's bring in Flygon. Because I kind of prepared him for a fight, but I wasn't thinking about how fucking insane Mega Steelix's defense is. His base defense is as high as Shuckles, the most ridiculous staller in the game. So he killed my attacker right there. So I'm like, alright, if somebody can take a hit, maybe it's Shuckle. And he did take it, but it was still a hell of a hit. And I did power split hoping that it would slow this guy down somewhat. And I'm like, okay, well let's try and have him waste some heavy slams, because I know he's just gonna keep coming back at it. And he tried, so there we go. And then he did it again, and again, Shuckle speed base speed is five, so I didn't stand much of a chance there. Now this was a point where I made some poor choices. I was freaking out, I didn't know what to do, so I'm like, uh, Tyranitar, I guess? Because I was like, okay, well, I can use some ground against him. Yet again. I mean, I'm also trying to have him waste some of those heavy slams so that hopefully he can run of them. I think at this point he had used five, six of them? I think he'd only used five at this point, so I'm like, ugh, alright. Earthquake did a little bit of damage, but still not enough. Tyranitar took this hit pretty well, but then I think this is the point, yeah, he realizes, okay, I'm not going to last against Tyranitar at this point, because Tyranitar is only slightly faster. So I'm like, oh, well, crap, here comes <laughs> little Shroomy here, and he is definitely going to be punching me. So I was like, I need to get Tyranitar out there, because four times weakness to fighting is not ideal. So I'm like, okay, here's someone who can take fighting like a champ but he used grass, so I'm like, okay, well, alright. And I got pretty lucky here, because it only hit twice, so I was like, alright, let's try and set up... I think this is when I tried to set up Trick Room. But, this is where Shroomy's grass type gets kind of annoying, because he busts out the spore, so it's like, well, crap, I'm asleep. My only chance of doing anything in this battle was try and get a Trick Room up, so that I'm faster than these things, because I have a slow team. On purpose. So my Trick Room failed right there. And then he turns around, and he uses Bullet Seed again. And this time, I think he gets four hits off. However many it is, it's enough that Gothitelle's just gone. I mean, Gothitelle's 
highly special defensive, but he's also got pretty good defense, but it really didn't matter. When you get four hits on Bullet Seed, it's going to take him down. So at this point, I'm basically just panicking. I'm like, ugh, alright, let's bring out somebody where if he's going to hit me, hopefully it'll deal some damage back. Which he does. Marathon takes that mock Punch like a champ and dishes some damage back, so I was pretty happy about that. And at this point, I believe he keeps his Breloom in. Yes, he tries for a Focus Punch, which was a really bad idea. And I was like, okay, I'll attack again. And then down went his Breloom. And I was like, okay, cool. But still, I did stand much of a chance. Now he sends out his Electros. I was like, alright, I might be able to kill this thing. Since I know it's electric, I'm like, I don't have much of a chance keeping Ferrothorn out because he's not much of an attacker. So I'm like, alright. Let's bring in Tyranitar. He's an attacker, he's gonna resist electric. But I wasn't. I didn't realize. I mean, this thing's weird. He used Flamethrower, so that really didn't do much. But that does become a problem later. So at this point, I'm desperate. I'm like, I gotta try something. So I try my Stone Edge, and he avoids the first one, which is really annoying. And I see now that he has Giga Drain, so I'm like, alright, this is gonna be problematic. But I'm still faster than him, it seemed. So. I'm like, well, I just gotta keep trying to attack. So I hit with the Stone Edge this time, but it does like half of his health. And he busts out an Aqua Tail. I'm like, yeah, well, this was fun. And down goes Tyranitar. At this point, I'm just down to Ferrothorn. I know it's been over since that Mega Steelix came out, but I didn't give up. Bring out Ferrothorn. Because I'm like, well, you're my last one. Hopefully I can do something. And he uses Flamethrower. And that's basically the end of it right there. That's four times damage. Ferrothorn didn't stand a chance. So this week, I was totally unprepared for that Mega Steelix, and it took advantage and kicked the crap out of me. So here's hoping that I do better next week. I am up against, I believe, the Philadelphia 76ers. I think that's who I'm up against next week. So let's see how that goes. Thanks for watching. I'll see ya next time.